Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect, where in the previous episode we fixed, albeit I believe temporarily, the transport ferries, mainly between the Supermax and High Risk Island, although we did obviously hire and fire as necessary around the place. We also built some more stuff over on the left hand side here with the common room and the gymnasium and obviously the yards which you can't see but it trust me it is there and basically continued on we had a fairly couple of big fights in and around the place and also one attempted escape because of some of the alterations that we've made but it's a case of needs must either way current shakedown is underway 140 places searched of 800 so it is quite a large area i'm also concerned that that is no longer getting built let's have a quick look and nope the mosaic Law has not big it's not really getting built and there's also a lot of turf lying around because well of course there is either way let's go on max speed and crack on with this one in terms of our prison we have 115 prisoners out of a maximum of 133 standard capacity is 8 medium 84 maximum 7 protected 28 supermax and 6 death row. Current capacity is 0 minimum, 1 medium, 82 maximum, 2 in protective custody including a legendary prisoner which was a snitch, uh, 27 supermax and 3 in death row which is Paul Waymark, Ian Speed and John Osborne, 16, 37 and 30% likelihood of clemency. Uh, representative and also in terms of grading which we haven't checked reoffending rate down to 13% that's not not hideous punishment right in the middle at 5 reform law 1 we expected that security at 0 health minus 2 deaths in custody it's over 100 now uh, sorry uh, sorry no that's capacity uh, deaths in custody 62 no prisoners have escaped and 73 parole early with only a 4% reoffending rate so overall not too bad in terms of places search we've searched the majority of the prison and we've only found a bat on a club a couple of spoons some cell phones nothing of great interest really so that's pretty good in terms of money receiving about 2000 per day but that'll fluctuate depending on Hiring and firing and the obviously the issues that we may experience. Staff morale is at 75%, so some of them have serious complaints. And 52 staff have died on duty, which is obviously a big problem there. Let's go and check out our... Where would it be? I think it's in... Finance? Yes, finance. We do have a 20% pay rise. If we increase that again, that will hopefully bring that morale up. Uh, it still, still says they're not paid enough, so quite frankly, I'm going to keep it down. Uh, and sadly, although it might reduce the morale a little bit, I really can't afford that extra money because we, we need the rest of it to, to build this. Anyway, as you can see, gymnasium is now completed, as is the common room. We're going to double check our, where is it, logistics, and then room quantity uh, quality. You can see both these are rated at 9. That's fine. Don't really need them any higher than that. Uh, these are not rated. We need dumbbell racks, bleachers, punch bags, tyre apparatus, and contains 10 of the above objects. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll place in some bleachers because we do actually have some sitting spare. So we'll put some either side like so. Same for this here. Actually, I might put it right on the edge of the running track because otherwise, quite frankly, We'll sort of run out of space. Obviously, we have got the ability to remove those if necessary. Uh, tire wall will go... Hmm, where do you want a tire wall? We could put it either side, but I actually like it there because obviously you can see it a bit better. So maybe a tire wall either side. And obviously, I'm just going to copy the same down the bottom there. And it did say about a punch bag, so maybe four punch bags in the middle. Does that work out? Four punch bags is fine. And I think it said dumbbell rack, but we're going to double check that. So uh, room quality is four, but it'll go to five, six, seven. It should go to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. That should be both of these grading nine. So we'll wait for that to be completed. This is only five out of ten, this thing, because it doesn't have a water cooler. I think we will probably place a water cooler in. Why not? Water cooler can go probably in the middle there. That should do the job and increase the grade of that. We haven't altered the schedule for a lot of these prisoners. Ah, that's a problem. We don't have solitary over here. Hmm. Okay. This was something that I did notice, but I was going to build around here. 
Um, okay. We don't have solitary, but there is a very, very easy solution to this, and quite frankly, it's a bit of a hack, <laughs> but I don't think it's a huge issue. We can easily put solitary cells in this area. It's not ideal, but it should work out relatively all right. Question is, do I want an entrance here? I don't think I do. What I might do then is at one side, probably the top, we will put in some walls. One, two, three. Let me dis dismantle that. I know these were placed very specifically, but I want to remove that. Continue on with some walls. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be fine. Over to doors. Solitary door. I actually prefer the secure door. And I won't be able to place them all, but I'll place them there. And then the water pipe. I'm just going to run to there. And radiator like that and then that will be designated as solitary and then we basically have some solitary cells and then that should work out pretty fine it's not ideal it's not the most secure but this is low and medium risk so i'm not too bothered i'm not really too bothered the other option was to build a whole new extra bit elsewhere but i really don't want to redo the majority of this um not having lights in here, I also don't like. Let's have a quick look. Don't have training dummy, but I don't think I want training dummy. Peer system. Is it just under lights? It's under floodlight. Yeah. I'll place floodlights either side. So it's sort of like... Lights up the bleachers, although we don't have the money for that. Could do that and I'll just light up the middle. That'll do. At least cast some light in there. Okay, good. One maximum security prisoner arriving shortly. We can see that 22 prisoners are wanting to transfer to medium sec, but is it because they haven't run any programs? Let's see if that is the case. We have pharmacological treatment to drug addiction on the go, same for foundation education program, alcoholics group on the go as well, spiritual guidance, we can... No point in starting one of those. Death row appeal. I might as well run more than one. Workshop safety induction. No. Kitchen. No. And behavioural therapies in the queue. And guard taser. We have 33 in the queue. So I'm going to start that up because we've had a lot of prisoners. Uh, sorry, a lot of guards come through the facility. And that's a nice way of saying they've turned up, failed taser course, and then got killed. So there you are. Anyway, that is all working. I will double check to see if we have... Uh, we have some more cop killers and that sort of thing. Let me activate another prisoner. We do have a couple, including this person. And we have, yeah, them all... Yeah, on, uh, all 100% apart from a couple of them. 83 and 60%. They're relatively new to the job, shall we say. And looks like they are currently active. Only these guys are getting targeted, so we can turn that off, and that should be fine. Right, good. I wonder if there's anything else we can do in order to alter the transfers. Well, 27 are now motivated to transfer. As we build this, they obviously will be motivated further to to sort of um, work on this one. I wonder if we get Christopher to work in the kitchen. I wonder if they want to do that. Uh I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Either way, that is... Ah. Yeah. Hot water pipe rather than standard pipe. I thought, why didn't it build in the centre? Because it was a standard pipe. Eh, it's easily fixed. Also, I need to sort the patrols out. So, deployment, patrols, and... Blue patrol. Cancel that. Sadly, it won't be going to the end. Not that it's a big problem. Sand guard. And a dog handler. And there you are. Okay, job done. So this, uh, while we're there as well, we can see is set to 
Ah, these aren't actually set. Custom sector, min and medium. There we go. That's all that's set. That one is min and medium as... Oh, hang on. Do we... No, we don't have that set. We just has that shared, but access only. Custom sectors for the rest of it. And the rest seems fine. Yeah. And, ah, oh, this one also. Medium, right across the board. Cool. Job done. So we can have... One in solitary, one in lockdown. Yeah, that's good. We can have people now from the low and medium, well, uh, medium go to solitary. We now have a solitary area. I don't, I was going to say I don't expect a lot of them to go there, but at the end of the day, one was required to go there, so there is still some of that need. They're also now cooking food for some reason still, and I don't know why. <laughs> uh, where is our inmate? There they are. They are there. In terms of their needs, looks like more th most things are being fulfilled and they also have some cash so they probably can work in the shop I mean we should probably set that up anyway let's go over to our where is it prison labor and we'll sign some jobs in both the shop in the um, mail room and also in the library that should work out fine obviously we haven't got any of that set in these areas laundry I know people do I've mentioned several times about us maybe building another laundry haven't done it never really needed to do it it was always something that we fancied building but we never got there either way we'll uh, see how we get on let's go over to our intake we are open for death row legendary and i'm going to open up uh, i'm actually not going to open up supermax i think uh, do we want to bother it's two grand we might as well we might as well receive that in mate might as well go ahead and do that at least all of these are now connected the radiator is connected which is fine and there's loads of equipment just being bought so that'll be yeah equipment taser so i'll say that's a lot of the a lot of the uh, guards passing that program let me just double check our new inmate what a surprise boys who is currently has well they have a trait but i don't know what it is so we'll have to check those out but wait until after food speaking of that i know there's been some mention regarding the policy that we haven't altered specifically for food but also other things like parole cut off and such for these prisoners uh that's correct the intention was to build the whole thing and then start altering policy although we don't necessarily need to do that it's nice and ve well, very nice that we have the option but we don't need i think to do that Let's activate James Brown, who's actually in... He's actually a Supermax prisoner. And there we go. We can see that we have two people being targeted. None of them elsewhere, so there will have been a trait on that person. But can't see what it is, or whatever it is. It's not of any great concern. Okay, so we now have the main bit along here done. In terms of grants, we can see that we have Reform Through Education Initiative on the go. We have a prison and manufacturing facility and also cell block D. Now, cell block D requires us to get prisoner capacity of 200. That's probably not going to happen. Reform to education initiative we are trying to run. And I'm going to guesstimate that maybe if we go over to our programs here and we say foundation education, start that. But this one will edit the schedule and... Death row appeals there. Death row appeal there. Don't know why that was there. Foundation education for custom. Well, that's all fine and that's fine. Yeah, because the custom one we've set up. Parole we'll have to set up. Start another parole hearing. Start another couple actually. Edit the schedule. Parole hearing and the parole hearing custom, yep. Yeah. So all of these, one, two, three, four, are for the standard centre island high-risk facility. Parole death row is not parole, it's the um, reducing down to just supermax or high risk. So that's definitely set at death row. Parole custom is parole, but on the low and medium sec island, which is why it says custom. The classroom max sec, standard procedure, we know about that one. And then the classroom max sec is sorry cl classroom custom is foundation education so that's fine so hopefully they can run on that one 
Phew! Took long enough, but we got there in the end. It means that that person can now hopefully run through this uh, classroom stuff. That's if uh, this person even wants to do that, but we'll see, obviously, how we get on there. They may be uh, assigned to a job, and indeed, yes, they are working in the shop. So they are going ahead, and they are taking the stuff off the... I was going to say they're taking stuff off the off the sort of rack there and putting it on shelves and stuff, but they're not, they're just sort of standing on the table. They're actually manning the shop front there, but nobody's coming to buy anything because they're the only person here, and they probably know that, so they're probably thinking, this is a sweet job. <laughs> you just stand here all day and get paid for it. Um, somewhat ironically, though, they then can't buy anything because they're the only ones that can <laughs> staff the shop. Oh, good grief. Anyway, I know there was some... Uh, desire to bring people in here. Um, oh, approve all three people: Clark, uh, Scutvin, I think it is, and Vanderee. There you go, all of them. Now over to Midsec. This is good. Thirty prisoners are now motivated. So now that we've increased the grading, hang on, deaths zero. Sorry, what? I mean, that's a lovely pop up. It's not a it's not a complaint, just a statement of fact. That that's a death zero. So, yeah, if it popped up and said you're doing okay, no deaths, um, I would be very happy with that. Um, but I have no idea what that was all about. Anyway, we can see we have got these prisoners uh, being transferred over to the low and medium risk facility, which means obviously that we will be getting actually slightly less money because you get more money for the high risk prisoners. Although I think that might be the intake. Hmm. Either way, they are now being brought over here, which is good. I'm going through, obviously, all the checkpoints and the usual usual stuff, and then being let and uh, put in their cells. Now they have, hopefully, a desire to run through and, you know, go through, like, classroom and all that sort of thing, which means reform through education initiative. But we'll see how we get on there. And also, it means that we have more intake for the maximum security. Good, right. Okay, so we haven't yet finished all of these, so I'm going to finish that off simply because it's uh, annoying slightly. Let's go walls and doors, doors tab, and then to the standard secure door, and then one, two, three, four, and then there's a completed. We don't have to worry about it. Four max sec prisoners turning up shortly. In terms of needs, we can see we have a need for luxuries across the facility, which we did expect, and also some clothing needs, but... You know, most of it is is pretty much been fulfilled anyway. We do have the prisoner uniforms there. Let's have a quick look at intelligence informants. And there's some more prisoners. Storkel and tough and quick, but nothing of any great note. And we now we have the mayor. So, an incident at another facility has highlighted potential issues with security checks when it comes to family visitation in prisons. Ah, okay. Till the process can be properly reviewed, all visitation must be suspended. You have 12 hours to remove that. So, we'll have to remove visitation here, and also visitation in here as well, which has now been removed. Um, we're going to check also logistics and deliveries. That's set up. Transport then, inbound prisoners, no inbound civilians. We... I'll turn inbound civilians on for this one because they should be able to come and visit. In fact, they are visiting there, even though this is no longer set for visitation. But at least we know that it worked previously, which is good. We have also an issue. There's one death over here. Looks like they've all kicked off. Uh, so that's saying that we have 84 maximum and the potential is... The, the max has gone down. Can't remove tunnels, so why have we got that increase there? They're unconscious, are they? Yeah. See, it's kicked off there. Showerhead damaged all the lights and toilets and such. I'll fix that in a moment. Um. So, yes. 85 maximum. 84... It'll be death row, won't it? Yeah, it's death row. So one of the death row inmates has went through the um, their version of parole and they've had their sentence reduced to just death row. I would like to know which one it was because I would actually put them on supermax. Although, to be fair, supermax is... Oh, no, it's not maxed out. So let me double check um, if there's anyone here that we would want to transfer over there. To be fair, there's some... 
people over here that like are just tough and such, and you think, yeah, they shouldn't be over there. Uh, but we're gonna go for super max for anyone that's well. There's a volatile person. We'll put them over there. Put them all of them together, and there we are. So we've removed all of the visitation. There's only two visitation in the entire facility. This one over here, which is using the visitor booths, which if I double check is actually connected correctly and then there's also the one over here phone taps i have not yet set up so i think we will go ahead and do that so phone tap which will go right next to it like so and obviously then the connections will go from that to all of these and there's another death which is oh good grief so this is what I was afraid of. So this is Duncan Taylor, age 20, and they are in protective custody. However, we've seen that they are a legendary prisoner, volatile and snitch. So there wasn't really much choice. Let me go to guard response and we'll bring them all in there. What they've done is taken out this guard. Looks like they've damaged a the chair on the way past. And they've got their set of keys. And they are now trying to leg it out of the facility. And looks like... They are now fighting, and yeah, they've been cuffed. Okay, and there we are. Get another staff member there. Going to double check our programs for where is it? Looks like nobody's bothered about doing the foundation education program around here. I'm still going to keep it running because I really want them to to do that. Also, pharmacological treatment drug addiction. We might as well stop that. Nobody's running it. Alcoholic group one in the queue. Guard tiers of fourteen in the queue. Uh, parole, we've still got a couple in the queue, so I don't know who that would be. Spiritual Guidance is on the go. We can... Let's see, start that again. We'll have to alter that manually. Death Row Appeal is on the workshop safety we're not doing. Behavioral Care... Behe 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 then there. Okay, so apparently I turned into Bill and Ben for a moment. Right, Behavioral Therapy in the queue 15, but we haven't set that going. Let's... Uh, for my sins, I'll, I'll run a couple and see what happens. And finally, pharmacological treatment to drug addiction. Some finished, none passed. Actually, no. Nine passed, 64%, but none of them are ready to be in the queue. So, with all of those that we've just done, we'll have to edit the schedule. Chapel Max Sec and Office Max Sec is behavioural therapy, that's fine. Office Max Sec, another behavioural therapy. And we're running spiritual guidance in the chapel over on the left hand side. I'm going to then turn that off. Um, quite frankly, for the four prisoners over here, they already have access to it. It's, I think, a big. I wouldn't say a waste of money, but it's uh, not much bang for the book. So, there you are. Looks that the transport ferry seems to be working better, although this guy may make a liar out of me. Yeah, look, he goes to that side, and then he just wants to come to the other side. So they're not stuck in the water. They're just... They're just really indecisive, these guards. <laughs> Staff morale at 73%, so it's not... Not the worst. So we can manage that. In terms of grading, I'm going to double check. We can see that... Mid-sec grading, six, 162 there, so pretty good. If we get visitation, which we normally would have, it'll be another 20, so 182. If we had, say, 10 hours more of sleep, they would increase by another 10. I don't really... I'm not bothered about that. I really have no uh, big issues there, keeping it more than 10 hours. They're all on the same... Every single prisoner is on the same schedule, so there you are. So, when we're looking at between medium and max, when everything's in place, the medium sec is almost double in terms of its quality than the rest of it. There is Alex Sexton, who was obviously now fighting and attacked a guard there. We still are on free fire in and around this area. Obviously, we have armed guards, and let's have a look. Armed guards. We have two assigned, but we're still waiting for the other one. Ah, they've been patrolling and coming that way. Fine. Three people arriving shortly. One maximum, one death row, one legendary. All right. And we have the capacity just for the supermax. Only just, though. So I'll have to be careful on that one. Just checking the transfers. 
30 prisoners are wanting to transfer, trying to do that. So hopefully we can sort that out. Very tempted to remove the programs past. See, qualifying prisoners 7. Criteria above to be met. You have to meet all 7. So, like, no assault, no incidents. I'm tempted to say programs past, turn it off. Because then we do have prisoners that are able to, we can approve. I think I'm going to do that. Because then it also means that some of these prisoners... Oh no, I think Supermax we keep as the... <laughs> keep as is. It's good that you can alter all this. I like the I like the fact that we have these options. It'd be better if they worked. Uh, <laughs> no, I can't really knock that part of it. Uh, ferries though, they're free game. Anyway, we have now our new intake, which we will see... Ah yes, there we are. Alex Fairburn. And they are prisoner number 436-12298. Sends to 13 years for rib. But also, they are legendary prisoners, so they can go straight to super max. And also, and let's have a quick look at informants. We have, I can hardly read the rest of it because it's the rest of it's so large. We have an unknown trait there. So let's activate Dan, because it's standard procedure to have a little chat with Dan. And you can see also some of them are wandering around. And uh, there we go. Okay, so no one being targeted. Yeah, we've got some standard risk prisoners here, normal risk prisoners who are actually eating here because they haven't been moved over to this part yet. There you go. So we do have another legendary prisoner there, which is of a slight concern because, you know, we really want to end punishment for them. What I'll do is I'll put you over to maximum sec and then the legendary prisoner who is certainly... Oh, that's the wrong one, who is more... Of an issue, we will then put over to there and just swap them around, you see. Okay, over to staff then, and to... I don't think we need more cooks employed, but we certainly need to assign a couple more to here, because we're now getting some more prisoners. So that's four. And how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Totally uh, assigned. We have 20 assigned, but we have also uh, 26, so there should be some wild cards where they can go wherever they're needed or be on break, most likely. Over to our connections then, and we can see we need to connect up the phones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are for detecting contraband as well as sniffing out... Uh, what's happening there? Solitary for two hours. Score prisoner to solitary. Well, we do have solitary. It is set up here, so they should be escorted eventually. I'm just waiting for that to happen. What have they done? Uh, destruction and attacked staff recently. Okay. And also, that didn't open. I don't know if you see that. Is that door not connected? That door is connected. So why did the guard come down to open that door when it was connected to the door control system? Perhaps we will never know the answer. Same as we'll never know the answer why that person is stuck in a wall. <laughs> Brilliant. There we go. There we go. They've decided to not chew on a rusty wall and move off. And there's more people in the shop. So we have three people working in the shop. Obviously, they are gaining money. If we check that, we can see that, yeah, they are going up in that. That's good, though, the fact that we have people working. Uh, logistics. Prison labour. There you go. People are working. Good. There's our cell status. You can see obviously a lot of this is open. We do need to start cloning. But with the money that we have, I think the best part of call will be to get the get the workshop up and running. Foundations, more. Wall rusty. And we're gonna do that. Two deaths today. Whoa, it's going to go up, I think. So it seems to be a huge fight going on here. I don't know what's caused it. But free fire's on. They're not stopping. Some of them have put their hands up. Chris Clark here seems to have done that. Um, but they didn't. And some more around here didn't either. Luckily, some unconscious. Arm guard unconscious. They're called sports wood as well. There you are. Fearless, volatile, yeah. You've got volatile and fearless, and it's just a, a really bad, a really bad trait for them to have. Walls and doors over to our doors here. I'm going to place a large jail door there. 
and there, which might seem like a very strange choice, but that's because when this is built, this will have a wall across it, and we'll just demolish that, we'll have access to this, these doors will stay, then we'll place a wall across, and then you've got one, and then two workshops, which was the original intent. Over to this prisoner, and we can see that they are not wanting to be a confidential informant. And I think we will do another check as well, and good grief, what's going on here? Another fight? One, two, three, four prisoners fighting. One dead and a couple unconscious. Instigator. Could have been that. We haven't seen any traits being gained or lost. Uh, that's because, well, obviously the gym, I think, is the main one that you get that. And using things like the the punch bags and the training dummies, you can gain, like, skilled fighter and such. We also now have Ian Speed on 9% for death row so we can go through that process if we want to don't really want to but we will be going through that process I mean if you've got a death row facility you know you have to use a death row facility and all that but there you are um, I'm gonna do a shakedown and we will see if we can find Ian here maybe doing a shakedown is probably not the best thing to do what I will do is a tunnel search in max sec that's some of the best things I've introduced, being able to just specify the uh, specify the different search areas and locations for not only tunnels but also just contraband. Brilliant. So execution underway, assemble execution detail and escort the witness to the facility. You can see that. <laughs> Is that still there? There's a tray with three sandwiches on it that's been there since last episode I think. Anyway, we are obviously escorting the witnesses to it says escort witnesses, it's on 0% and they are coming in on the helicopter of all things and coming down this way onto the lone medium risk island landing via helicopter then they'll have to get the boat across. I think there is then a case for activating the <laughs> the helicopter on the death row island to have it set as visitors allowed. The problem is that almost certainly what will happen is the is that a high risk there's a supermax prisoner over there on the left hand side he's just been taken or is now being taken to the infirmary but for some reason being taken to the infirmary on the exact opposite side of the facility. <sighs> Don't change. No, do. Please do. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, putting on visitation on death row would probably be work out for these guys because they would have a closer... It would be closer for them to go. However, almost certainly what will happen is every visitation uh, around the facility will land there and they'll have to get on the boat anyway. Not that it really matters because, you know, it's going to be about 2027 20, by the time... By the time these guys get there. And if you're watching this in 2027, then I guess that is technically true because, well, yeah, they've got there at that time. Why the 1%? Don't understand. They are very, they're a lot closer. It's also nearly four, and it's going to take them, they're going to get on two boats. Yeah, because you have to go through here on this boat first, then across, and then across, and then across to that one, and it's still only two percent. So what what are we waiting for? Like who are the? I have no idea. And we can't speed it up. And that person, that guy is stuck. That guy is definitely stuck. You're getting sacked. If they can't figure out how water works, then I don't think they should be in possession of a taser or a baton. Quite frankly. There we go, percentage is going up. Looks like it wasn't really counting it for some reason when it was on here. So, we'll have to move up to this one, then go across. While we're waiting, we'll double check these guys and any informants, or any guys that want to be a confidential informant, we will recruit. This is different from snitches. I know some people ask that. What does it mean when you recruit these to become snitches? No, they become confidential informants. Confidential informants you can talk to to find any traits that are, depending on what percentage of their coverage is, you understand, 
You can find different traits on prisoners if anyone's been targeted. Any contraband that's been thrown in. That's the sort of thing that you can see off them. They can become snitches if the suspicion goes too high, they then become snitches, which then you have to treat them like you would any other snitch coming into the facility. So putting them into protective custody, permanent lockdown, or just, you know, risk it. So we'll see. Anyway, you can see all of the witnesses are coming down, and there's nobody here to open that door, so we might as well do it for them, because you can see that's the door control system that currently isn't staffed because of game. And let's do that. Obviously, people are waiting uh, to clean, and there's their council. And they say 92%, so where's the rest of them? I don't know where the rest are, unless there's one around here. Oh, there's an execution witness. Speed's father. Missed the ferry, by the look of it. Maybe he's trying to delay what's going on here. Which perhaps we can understand. And at least there's a guard now manning that door control system, so all the doors will open. It's a bit filthy around here. We'll have to get the cleaners there. So we will escort the prisoner to the facility. Obviously they're right next door to it anyway, so it does not take long. So we have execution witness, the chief, and our warden. We've been through this process, I think a handful of times, five, six times, something along those lines. So, Ian Speed, convicted for 144 years for multiple crimes including murder, armed robbery, and torture. Prison number 4083-6678. As Judge Jed would say, the sentence is death. And there we are. Dismissed staff and witnesses. And this is becoming a common occurrence in the facility. Not something we intended, but there we are. And the standard procedure has been followed. We now have an additional prisoner who has passed the foundation education course which is good I'm gonna go ahead and put on the inbound civilians for this see they have you know, outbound is always on for that one and there's parole hearing turned up which comes there so we'll keep that on we'll see if that improves matters it may it may not we'll have to see and there's some prison uh, some guards that are totally stuck again and more fighting in the high-risk area as well so we'll rehire the guards and the dog handler and the three armed guards. And there we go. Right, I think we will leave it there. Next episode then, we will continue on with building over on the top left, which is going to be our workshop. Obviously, it's taking quite some time to do that. Not only will we have to connect it up to the electrical supply, we will have to probably put in some more... We'll have to put in some more um, bound power stations and capacitors, I think. So we'll have to see how we get on with that one. But it means they can work. At least we have more prisoners transferred over here. In fact, we probably have, yep, three more prisoners that are eligible to qualify. So just turning off that programs required one, or programs past one, it means that more prisoners can transfer over to here and obviously hopefully get the benefit of all of this. And they're actually doing a reform program, which is good. Good to see. Good to see, it looks like they're doing the foundation education. Not that anybody's come to actually teach them anything, but there you are. Either way, we will leave it there. Next episode, we'll crack on and see if we can get a workshop running. And hopefully, I would like to say, produce some license plates. But obviously, that will uh, require a little bit more on our, on our part. Either way, we're going to leave it there and we'll see how we get on. That's a legendary prisoner. We should probably transfer them over to... Uh, to Supermax and Maximum Supermax. There we go. Right, as always, hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.